Hi, this is size 12 curved light wire hook and the thread I'm using is block 80. Add some wax on the thread. Let's start from there. Touch and turn. Open the thread just all the way down. That's enough. For the body I'm using is block pheasant tail four to five strong. So this is a dyed block pheasant tail name. Uh, for, sorry, pheasant tail. And all you have to do is just level the tips and just cut them a couple of turn and then bring them to the length and you need a green copper wire for the ribbing and then you just come back up touch and turn Open the thread and just go back. Sorry, go all the way. Just come back again to just shape up the body. And then up the spine. You want to add some super glue on the body. Just for the security and bring your ribbing Let's touch and turn take your time this all the way and one more and then bring that towards this side few more turn and secure this The next step I'm going to be adding a post so I'll add some wax on the thread and the post I'm using is orange wool uh, it's a yarn you know knitting yarn so you can get from any knitting shop three turn then you Pull this up, just soak it, and then you have to go around to catch. Take your time, the next step I'm going to add Hako parachute. So I have got this. It's a whiting cock huckle um, pro blade, really nice stuff. And if you just sorry, just catch it here a couple of times.
Make sure it's level with the post, so that's fine. And just gently catch everything. Come back down. And this is your parachute tackle is done. Next step I'm adding is to peacock. Oh, these are lime green. This is dyed green. So level the tip. Let's catch them gently all the way to the eye and then just bring these. Okay. Pull everything back and just finish off with a nice head. You can use super glue here if you want. And now we're finished. Right, I'm going to add thread again onto the post. So this is a block, same A to thread. So add some locks on the thread. about start from here and then go towards the hook that's better you know this piece do not cut this spare um this this side of the piece it's the waist piece so just leave it here and all you have to do now bring your hackle so Take your time. Keep going until you're happy. I like to have loads of thick hackle, so. And that should be all right. So what I'll do, I'll just go along from the bottom, catch this gently, one, and then again go, widening all the hackle, lift them up, two. Three, four. Now, see the huckle is kind of scale. Now, <clears throat> this piece is the one end, you know, the waist end. So, what we will do grab this end and the bobbin end both together, and what I'll do is just to create a half hitch, you know. Uh, with both of them so if you could see probably if you create a loop like this that's the loose end and go through the middle ones and create a knot as you can see and then slide it up that's the one way of kind of finishing off your fly so once you've done that what I will do, bring this side other way around and then again same thing. So create a loop, go through middle ones and then second time again that's a double half hitch now slide it up now here all you have to do is add a little bit of varnish just very close and grab both end and 
slide it up. Now this is kind of a whip finish. Easy, simple way doing it. You know, if you go around the huckle, you end up catching, you know, a lot of huckle, one or two, maybe more. Now I'm going to come around again that time. And don't worry if you catch one or two fiber. And then I'm going to finish off this fly. Now this broke off, but don't worry about that. So let's take it off. And this is off. If you find a little bit varnished over it, watch in. All you have to do is just cut this post and then are ready to fish. So, yep, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the new method of whip finish and. Hope you like this video. Thanks for watching.